In this lesson, I'll show you how to write an equation for a tangent along an ellipse. The question reads, find the equation of the tangent to the ellipse 4x squared plus 9y to the power of 2 is equal to 40 at the point 1 and negative 2. What they're seeking here is the equation of this tangent. The tangent line is a straight line, so it can be modeled using y is equal to mx plus b. What we need to do is find the derivative of this equation, of this ellipse, and then subsequently evaluate that derivative at the point 1 and negative 2. What that will do is give us the rate of change at that specific point for this ellipse. I'm going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to x. So we have to do this implicitly because there are two types of variables, x and y. Starting with the first term, we have 4x squared. We use the power rule that gives us 8x. The second term is 9y squared. So we need to find the derivative implicitly here in terms of x. So when you find the derivative of 9y squared, which is 18y, you write down dy over dx. The derivative of 40 is 0. Technically, I've just found the derivative. So what I can do is substitute the value x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1 into here. 8 times 1 plus 18 times negative 2 dy over dx is equal to 0. Bringing this 8 to the opposite side because we want to isolate for dy over dx. If we isolate for dy over dx, we've actually found m. So bringing this 8 over, that gives us negative 8, leaving us with dy over dx of the product of these two numbers, which is negative 36. Dividing both sides now by negative 36. And reducing this gives us the following, 2 over 9. So 2 over 9 represents the slope of this tangent line. And that's what we expected, because notice that this line is going upwards from left to right, which means that the slope should be positive. I'm going to substitute 2 over 9 into y is equal to mx plus b, so 2 over 9 x plus b. Now I need to find out what my b is by substituting 1 and negative 2 into x and y. That gives me negative 2 is equal to 2 over 9 times 1 plus b. Negative 2 is equal to 2 over 9 plus b. Isolating for b gives us the following. And I'll use my calculator for this. Negative 2 minus 2 over 9 is equal to negative 20 over 9. Negative 20 over 9, or in decimal, negative 2.22 repeating. And that's what we would expect. Notice negative 2.22 is the y-intercept. I'm going to write down my final equation now. y is equal to 2 over 9 x minus 20 over 9. Let's move on to part b. Part b, they ask us to find the x-intercept of the tangent. To find the x-intercept, notice that the x-intercept occurs once. Of course, it's a straight line. And it occurs when y is equal to 0. So if I substitute y is equal to 0, and by the way, this is my answer for a, and this is my answer for b, I end up with 0 is equal to 2 over 9, x minus 20 over 9. I'm solving for x, I bring that over, 20 over 9 is equal to 2 over 9, x. The 9's go away, leaving us with x is equal to 10. Therefore, my x-intercept occurs at 10 and 0. Let's see if that makes sense. It does. And that's it. That is how to write an equation for a tangent along an ellipse.